Hello and welcome. Today we are going to embark on an exciting journey to enhance your creative thinking through pen drawings. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to create stunning pen drawings like this and unlock your creative potential. Imagine yourself confidently creating beautiful pen drawings effortlessly. Stay with me till the end and you will discover the secrets that will transform your artistic journey. Before starting, you have to sit in a quiet place without any distractions. Take notes and practice along with me. As you listen to this tutorial, you will start to feel more confident about your abilities. What if I told you that creative thinking can be easily developed through daily art practice? Yes, creative thinking is essential for your personal and artistic growth and it helps you to solve problems more creatively. Studies in the art industry shows that regular engagement in artistic activities can significantly improve cognitive flexibility. 78% of creative professionals believe that engaging in traditional art forms enhance problem-solving skills. Yes, artistic activities can reduce stress and improve your focus, leading to better concentration and increased creative output. Just imagine the impact of daily art practice on your creativity and problem-solving skills. Yes, you can start today and see the difference. Let's go over the essential tools and materials needed for a pen drawing. If you are a beginner and you want to create stunning pen drawing artwork, all you need is a pen and some papers. And as additional tools, you can use pencil, eraser and sharpener. Now let's dive into the fundamental techniques of pen drawings. Visualize yourself mastering these fundamental techniques with ease. Let's start with some basic techniques. Lines, hatching, cross hatching, stippling and shading. You can follow along with me as we practice each one. For this practice, you can uh, take a pen which you normally take to write. Uh, better to use a black pen. Here I am using uh, Dom's brand pigment liner pen 0.2 size. And first we have line drawing practice. You can practice with drawing straight lines like this. Thin and neat lines. And you can draw horizontal lines like this. Also the vertical one. When you practice each line, make sure that it's straight. So just practice it several times to improve the neatness and it will improve your confidence and concentration. Next is hatching. Hatching is also like this. You can make parallel lines to create a shading effect. You can overlap them. So this is the basic hatching method. So in that way you can make a light and shadow. And there is another method is called cross hatching. In which we start with simple hatching method. Then we do the opposite side. So this is called cross hatching. To do the light and shadow. You can add multiple layers of it. Next we have stippling. It's simply making some dots. When you add more dot, less space in between, you can create dark shade effect. Also, you can create light and shadow effect by varying pressure on your pen. You can draw light lines like this. And you can apply some more pressure. You can draw dark lines. When it comes to hatching, you can draw light lines like this to create a light effect. And you can press it to create a dark shade. Also, you can practice uh, drawing a random shape. Filling it with some patterns. All these practice methods will improve your concentration and neatness of the drawing. Yes, you can save this video. Remember that with every practice, you will notice your skills improving. See yourself drawing a beautiful phoenix bird. 
symbolizing your rise from every setback. Follow these step-by-step -step instructions to draw a phoenix. Remember, each line and stroke contributes the overall beauty of your artworks. Imagine the satisfaction of seeing your art come to life. You can begin by drawing a guideline to mark the direction of the bed and then a small oval shape for the head. Next, draw a slightly big oval shape at the bottom of the head. This will be the main structure of our phoenix. When you practice it, remember, draw lightly so you can make adjustments if needed. Now let's add the wings. Start by drawing two large curved lines extending from the top of the body. These lines will form the structure of the wings. Step 2. Since we have the basic shape, we can draw each section using a black pen. I am starting from the head, then drawing the body and its strong legs. While drawing the wings, you have to first focus on the direction of large feathers and its size and shape. At the bottom side of the wing, feathers are long in length. In step 3, now you can confidently draw the right side of the wing. You can use the same method as the left side one. I am drawing long curvy lines for the tail and I am extending the tail to make it as a flame like effect. Let all lines flow from your heart to the paper. Step 4. Finally, we can add details and textures to our phoenix drawing. If you want to draw more feathers on the body, wings and tail, you can add it. And you can add textures to the flames as small lines and patterns. Remember to keep your lines neat and fluid. And finally, we completed our drawing. Imagine the satisfaction of seeing your drawing come to life. After I completed the pen drawing of our phoenix bird, I thought about coloring it. How would it look if I introduce colors to this pen drawing? Is it going to look good or would I ruin the drawing? I was confused, but still I want to color it. Here I am using only three colors yellow, red and blue. These are the primary colors in art. And you know what? We can create millions and millions of colors with just three primary colors. Here in this drawing, I'm starting with yellow to add brightness to the flames and feathers. Next, I'm using red to give depth and intensity to the body and wings. Finally, I am adding blue to create shadows and contrast. Remember, the key is to let the colors flow naturally and enjoy the process. Yes, and we completed our final artwork. If you are a beginner artist, I have something to tell you. Every artist started where you are right now. You can achieve your greatness too. By practicing regularly, you will see continuous improvement in your art. And for those who stay till the end of this tutorial, I want to give a gift. You will get exclusive access to additional resources. You can download a step-by-step -step guide for your reference while practicing this drawing. To access it, click the link in the description. Hope you liked this tutorial. If you liked it, comment below with your favorite technique you have learned today. You can also follow or subscribe to this channel so that you can join us and discover the artists within you. So see you in another tutorial. It's me, Artist Sachin, your passionate art teacher, signing off.